But it's all down to how he plays in the bottom right from Team Envy, it's Maru. And in the bottom left from DPG, Cure. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't have it any other way. We, no one would have it any other way. Maru, he's going for the proxy. That's how he's starting off game one. He says, listen, I need to get a 2-0. And again, Cure is a player that in a straight up game has a pretty even winning rate versus Maru. So what does Maru do? Well, he says, you know what, my first barracks, it's gonna be proxied across the map. That's right, I'm gonna proxy my first barracks, Cure. What do you got? We'll have to see how Cure does. This is, I love it. I love this for Maru. This is really the all or nothing play though. <laughs> this is, if this works out, great. Maru has a chance at forcing, you know, the second game to be the decider is it, if it goes to an ace match or not. If it doesn't work out and Cure defends, well, it's over. DPG will have four wins. They will, you know, already get the win. The score will be tied up in the regular season. It all comes down to really what Maru can get done. It. Now, the thing about the single proxy racks is, of course, it's not going to be really a heavy committal to Reapers. Never mind, it's not Reapers. Maru's going proxy, Concussive Shell, Marauder. Oh, oh, oh. All those words just fill me with joy. Oh, it fills me with so much happiness. <laughs> Maru, maybe not the Concussive Shell being added on. We'll have to see as soon as he hits 50 gas. There it is. Concussive Shell Marauders are on the way. Now, Concussive Shell Marauders, usually you do see this with two barracks, but that is, of course, a bit more of a heavy committal to the cheese. Maru here still trying to keep his options open, has the factory behind this, but in a straight-up fight, the Marauders do beat the Reapers. And if you, can, if you can clean up a few of the Reapers early on, if you can catch, especially if your opponent ends up going with a Hellion first, if you can catch out that Hellion and kill it, well then, you know, and your Marauders survive, if you get to that four Marauder count, you can start to one-shot these SCVs. You can start to really force the issue and get a lot of damage done. We'll have to see what Maru can do. He's gonna move out with two. Has the Concussive Shell finishing up. This is some lovely cheese coming out from the NV Terran. And, well, when you see that CC, that makes you real happy, especially if you're cheesing. Because these two Marauders, well, let's just say this. Reapers don't really beat them. You're gonna see the immediate SCV pull come out. Cure, not pulling too many, pulling just enough that he can force back the, Marauder, the Marauders and make sure that they can't really get as much damage done as they would like. Focus Fire doesn't get the first Reaper. Some great micro from Cure. He's finally gonna lose one, and now you have a Hellion joining this as well. Pushing up, gets the second Reaper as well, but the Hellions are still alive. A Marine's still alive, focusing down as much as they can. The Hellion is low, but there's still one tanking Marauder in the front. Three SCVs going down so far. This one Marauder will be able to pick off a Hellion. We'll be able to pick off another SCV, but there's still continued production coming out from Cure. It's Hellions and Marauders being rallied across this map. We're gonna have to see more SCVs pulled, but this is starting to get dangerous. The damage is going to start to stack up here. The Hellions do a lot better with the SCVs than the Marauders do. They can target multiples at a time. Seven of them gonna die. The lineup for nine. This Hellion will eventually get picked off, but Maru well, he got the damage done that he needed, forces the cancel on the CC, still manages to get a ton of worker kills, and now, this just, again, this this uh, this rally just lines up perfectly for Mar. Ooh, the SCVs! Managed to get a trap on that Hellion, still 12 of them go down, 13th not picked off. Behind this, Maru now is gonna be going into Banshees. Absolutely lovely play right now for Maru. Opening it up with this really creative cheese, and again, he still has options, he still has these transitions available, it's gonna be Cloaked Banshees, and well, what does Cure have to deal with Cloaked Banshees? He's got to produce a ton of Marines, a ton of Hellions. You know, Cure's not gonna have a lot, he doesn't have a starport. Cure is floating gas because he had to cancel that natural base, and because he had to go into so many mineral intensive units, and only now is that gonna to start to dwindle as he puts down the starport. But this Banshee will be across before then. There will be a single Cyclone out, but I wouldn't be surprised if Mario just waits for the cloak before he does end up going in. Barrack's gonna be used to scout out what there is available for his opponent. Oh, the Cyclone. Gonna push out. Gonna be using 
We're gonna be taking down this barracks with the Marines, and Kira is gonna be stuck to his main base for quite a while. There's not a lot that he can really do to push out until that starport finishes up, as it does. Immediately throwing that tech lab down. You see Mara now gonna be waiting for that cloak. There is a scan available for Cure. Being sure to keep that CC you know, readily available if something like this does come in, and that's just, you know, again, Cure, knowing what the possibilities are. He managed to defend the, the cheese. He managed to survive it at the very least, and now he's worried about a follow-up, and well, what's the next follow-up? There could be, it's cloaked Banshee. Maru cloaks and heads on in, make sure that Kira has no idea what's going on in. Oh no, Kira dropped a mule! Kira doesn't have the energy for a scan, he has a raven on the way, but he's not gonna have it for a while. We'll have a scan available from his second command center. we will be able to pick up the first Banshee, but the second is already into the base. That raven, how soon is it finishing up? Probably another 30 seconds on it, or 20 seconds on it, or so. Siege tank picked off. Frontal Supply Depot as well, gonna be focused down, and now a cycle even coming across the map to get on top of that. Five SCVs go down, more gonna be focused. Siege Tank, actually, oh my god, Maru, what? Maru just commits in with the Cyclone. Says, no, I'm actually just gonna get the Siege Tank too. I'm gonna get absolutely everything. Focuses down, another SCV, seven go down. Marauders push in with the Banshee. Maru's just, he's crazy, he's a madman. He has a tank. Two Marauders are tanking the Banshee. What is this push? <laughs> it is absolute insanity for Maru. Kira should be able to clean it up, but now the Banshee goes back into the mineral line. It's gonna get 10 SCV kills, 11. It's racking up, Kira GG's. Maru brings us to game two. In the bottom left of Oxide, it's Maru. In the top right, for DPG, it's Cure. One more win can decide how this series goes. Either we go to a game seven, and you probably end up seeing something like Maru versus Rogue, or Maru versus Zest, or Cure manages to get the win and end it now. Both players are sending out SCVs. Oh, yes! This is, oh, I love this. Oh, this is great. Immediate barracks down from Cure. Maru, immediate barracks. They're both going for the proxy, but guess what, Cure? He's committing a second SCV. Cure, that's right, he's gonna be going for the proxy Reapers. There's gonna be two Rayox Reaper. Maru, it looks like he's going for the same build. It looks like he's going for the safer option. He's going for the Concussive Shell Marauders that will just allow him to, tra to transition into a factory. It's a build that is potent, but again, it's safer. You're gonna have less units out. You're gonna have less available as soon just because of how the production lines up and you're gonna have nothing back at home. Still, Cure, He's saying cheese versus cheese. I don't care what you do, I wanna try and win this now. I wanna try and take you down. And maybe he's read Maru, maybe he knows that that cheese is gonna come out. We'll have to see as that first Reaper is on the way. Maru hasn't even started his tech lab yet. Oh, this is such a bad build matchup for Maru. And Maru hasn't scouted either. He's sending, I believe, a second SCV across to go scout the main base. And as soon as he sees that there is nothing there, he's gonna realize what's happening. And I think for Maru, honestly, what you do is you end up trying to bank up as many murals as possible. As soon as those Reapers come, you probably cancel the factory. You go into more Marauders and try and produce as many as you can before you end up losing all of your SCVs. Second SCV across the map, though, for Maru. We'll have to see. It wasn't for a scout. No, it's actually staying there. Waiting for the second Reaper cure. We'll soon commit. Again, this is cheese versus cheese, we'll have to see. It comes down to micro, it comes down to seeing how well the SCPs can do at containing it, and in that in that uh, factor alone, well, Cure has the advantage. The Reapers have so much more micro ability against the SCVs. The Marauders, sure, they can slow them down, but if you don't have a lot of them, well, guess what? They do just end up dying. Maru, yeah, you can see, he's not even pulling all of them. He's pulling a few SCVs to try and keep the Reapers away. Trying to put on the mass repairs, trying to keep everything alive. There is a Hellion coming out, and of course that will be very useful, but it can't get focused down. It needs to stay alive. SCV is managing to trap one Reaper, managing to almost get the second. The Cure, able to duck, dive, and di and get out. Now the Marauder's going to the main, and Maru, he needs to micro this perfectly, because the Marauders can get surrounded, they can get killed, they can get eliminated, and he only has two of them. Don't know what's going on across the map, but it's not 16 SCV kills, it's only four. There is a Hellion available now, though, for Maru once again. Gonna be able to get one more Reaper, but what is there left for him? 
Well, it's a dead Hellion. It's nothing left. It's three Marauders trying to micro their hearts out. One of them is super low, but it's going to be able to stay alive. Again, I would have loved to see Mario just cancel these Hellions and go hard into the Marauders. They do counter the Reapers. But no, he has one more Hellion that's going to come out. It's going to try and meet up with the rest of his force. Surround from the SCVs. Citizens arrest. Not going to be able to get the low health Marauder. Mario going to be able to even up that SCV kill count. He's going to lift off his main base. But Cure has just been mining more. Cure, how many? Well, he has eight. Going to have ten Reapers by the time that this closes. Needs that extra bit of gas. Gets it. It's going to be 11 Reapers. 11 Reapers versus three Marauders and a Hellion. You just can't help but feel like Maru, that's not enough. Sorry, only seven Reapers. Where's the extra unit supply coming from? That's a bit confusing. I don't think, I didn't think Reapers took up, you know, didn't, didn't, didn't give you a quarter <laughs> of an army supply. And here we go. Eight Reapers now available. Yeah, there is going to be ten. They were just queued up. That's all that it was. And, of course, Kira is also going to be able to build Marines. I think Kira, I think Kira wins this. The Reapers, they do enough damage to focus down the Marauders. Even with the slow, they can dive on top of the Hellion. Maru, he needs to rebuild. He needs to get some minerals here available so that he can rebuild, so that he can get more Marauders available. Cure, not going to be able to see that that mule is dropped. But Kira is going to start mining as well again. It's so important for Maru that he builds more Marauders. Those are going to be crucial for him winning this game. And, of course, he's not going to need a lot of gas to do so. She commits to the Hellion instead. I believe it is the Hellion being produced. Can't see. GG. Maru GG's out. Realizes he doesn't have enough. And, well, that means that Kira ties it up. <laughs> Such a uh, anticlimactic way for that to end.